to a new video on my channel if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button share like and comment and turn on the notification bell so when a new video pops up y'all are watching me right 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 and if you're old subby y'all are the bomb bam, bam. thank you guys for subscribing and thank you guys for sharing with your friends um right so this video is going to be a very informative video and I want you guys to get your pens, your papers, your books, your notepads, whatever it is, your phone, jot down notes and stuff like that. So let's get into the video. Alright, so the title suggests it's teaching English in Japan. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Right, a lot of persons have been asking me and I'm a pretty sure a lot of persons are interested and don't know like really what to do so I mean the least I can do is um share my part I'll try to give you guys as much information as best as possible I'm right here I'm sitting on it right so I'll try to give you guys as much information as best as possible my art yeah <laughs> right so let's get into it all right so this is my second year in japan and as if you don't know already i'm a jamaican and i'm living in japan good good so what i did um i was in jamaica at the time and i applied through a company by the name of interact i'll leave their logo here or here or Right. The name of the company is um, Interact. Um, from Jamaica, you have two companies that recruit from Jamaica. You have the JIT program and you have Interact. You have other companies. This is something I learned later um, that recruit. That's what I know about. But out of Jamaica, I know you have JIT and you have Interact. There are other companies that recruit, but these are the two major companies. All right. So just like any other thing that you're doing, um, once it's international, there's some documents that you need to have. But before we get into the documents, you need to go on their website. Interact is a company that um, hire all year round. Um, good. So you go on their website at Interact, blah, blah, blah. Not sure of the link. If I can find a link, I will leave it in the descri description box below. So you guys can check it out. Um, just like anything, when you're doing a job interview, you go on the website and you read through if it is something you want to do. And just to get a little, you know, idea way. Guys, the phone fell. <laughs> anyway, so just to get a basic idea, you know, of the company. So you will fill out an application form and they will send you back an email. You also have to bear in mind this is not Amazon Prime, where you order something and you want it tomorrow. Japan and Jamaica is two different time zones. Two different. Actually, J Japan is 14 hours ahead of Jamaica, if my memory serves me correct. So don't expect a response as you send off your application. So you complete your application, you wait for them to respond. Have a little patience. It's not Amazon Prime. Let me say that again. It's not Amazon Prime. But I know as human beings, we can get very impatient. I would just over this. Like, when do I respond? Sir, miss, respond. All right, cool. So they will respond. While they are in the process of responding, there are some documents that you will need to have. So if you don't have these documents, try to get them before you accept the offer, which they will give to you in the latter part of the process. First and foremost, you need a university degree. You need a bachelor's degree. You need this. It doesn't matter what the degree is in. It could be in science, law, education. It could be in politics. It could be in food. It could be in tourism, anything. You just need a degree. That's all they care about. I think the age group is from 18 to 50. I'm not so sure. But when I leave the link, you can always check the information as to what is the cutoff age. Right? So you would need a degree. Um, you will need a passport. Or oh, a reach. Yeah. You need a passport. Yeah. So you will need a passport. Um, you will also need to do... You will also need to get, I think, a transcript from your university. And um, so you can prepare these things ahead of time. So when the time comes for you to submit, you know, it's a little bit more of an easier process. You also will need to get a Japanese visa. That part, I will talk about a little later. 
you will also need to take passport size pictures now the passport size pictures that you will take are not the same as a regular passport size picture. the sizing is totally different so if you go to a photo studio who is um, familiar with the Japanese process you can just tell them oh yeah uh, like a Japanese uh, visa and they will know the measurement but in the same breath you can google it and I believe internet will give you the dimensions of the photo just to be on the safer side right and last but not least you will need money to come here you will need to buy your own plane tickets um, this is not covered by the company and you would they require you to have at least 500,000 yen to come to Japan 500,000 yen I leave the equivalent somewhere on the screen however the company will offer you a loan of 250,000 in the event that you don't have the 500,000 to come to Japan now in my honest opinion um, I would implore all persons that are coming here um, if take the time out to find the money as best as possible versus taking the loan but they do provide that option again it's up to you but from my personal experience I would say to come with your money in a come with your nice clean money all right so that is that um, Right, so they will respond to you with email, they will communicate to you with emails. I think you will do surveys, I think tests, and you know, stuff like that. They will ask you about your placement, where would you want to be placed in Japan? Now, everyone, maybe not everyone, but most persons are familiar with Tokyo or in Osaka, you know. But I would implore you that if you have a friend or if you know someone who's here in Japan who is able to divulge unfiltered, raw information or placement ask them because you coming to japan and you don't really know the ins and the outs and the ropes um you can be placed in an area that um you know you're not entirely comfortable with or it's probably too far depending on your personality and you like a bubbly bubbly and all of that and you know there are a lot of factors to think about when you're thinking about your placement and most times i believe persons um choose something that at the end of the day they have to relocate due to several other factors so they will ask you about placement. Yes, you can do your research, but sometimes you need to probably get hands-on information from someone who's actually in the field. All right, cool. So you choose your placement. And a key thing to know, you may not get placed where you choose. But hey, nothing tried, nothing done. All right, cool. You will have a rep in Jamaica who will contact you um on the phone and they will do a mini interview on some basic questions i can't remember all the questions but a few of them include um do you will you have the five hundred thousand? of course yeah jamaica like i say you will add it i will do add it because you are onto something greater or some another one they're into you know transition process or something like that same words that get mixed up a lot about Right, so the interview, the question, the, the director will ask you, like, do you have the 500,000? These are like yes and no questions. Why do you want to go to Japan? Um, are you willing to ride a bicycle? Are you willing to drive? Do you have a driver's license? Um, what else? They will ask you, like, um, you know, questions like that. All right, so after that, you will be invited. Mind you, not everyone will be invited, but based upon my experience, everyone in my batch was invited to a training slash interview slash meeting um at a location that um will be disclosed to you in an email as to for you to meet with the rep where they will divulge a barrage of information coming at you um that's and as well as you will also have a in-person interview all right cool now on that day that you meet with the rep you will have to prepare a lesson now for most of us it would have been our first time actually teaching and and all of that so you would you you would have enough time to prepare a lesson they will give you things to choose from and you choose whichever one you feel comfortable you choose a lesson and there's a breakdown of things that is required for you to do nothing um out of the norm but of course we're humans the nerves take over we're in front of adults doing this thing and um uh, it's just kind of not the same as teaching kids you know that the energy like your face makeup attire and over this and all of that 
you know after that is done you will as i said before you will do an interview i believe uh, the same questions will be asked um but some of them will be pertaining to what you have been um what new information was told to you while you were present at that um interview or meeting session all right cool so when that is done now the whole application process when that is done now you well, from my experience i believe i knew the same day that i was coming to japan but for other groups it might take them a week or two to, to, to figure out and i mean the time that i did um this whole process versus now a lot has changed um i believe now there's an application fee if i can find the figure i can let you know but if you're supposed to make a comparison between a work and travel program and this program um i would say the fee is nothing but at the time that i was coming there was um no fee nothing whatsoever i just needed to gather my documents and head on is it a yes or no i'm into this and that was it i'm not sure if i mentioned before that the airfare is your responsibility and all other things is actually your responsibility the company does not and i repeat the company is not and does not take responsibility of any financials for anyone making the transition to japan so that is all about you that is all on you you have to figure that out for your own and all of these things okay go into the application process and that is that in Moyago, japan here are some things that you need to know you have options of which school you want to teach you can either teach you can teach in the elementary school so in jamaica we call that primary school you can teach in the junior high school in jamaica we call that high school and you can also teach at high school which in jamaica i think is high school i don't really know and i think you can choose that you can also teach at kindergarten which i think is basic school in jamaica and yeah so i think you have one two three four that's four Kindergarten, elementary, junior high, and high school. Okay, four. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a All right, yeah. So for me, I chose elementary school because I know them big people like when I ask you, I know we are Jamaica, but me personally, more I, more disrespect you. Yeah, like one time, more I be like, no, I can't answer for the disrespect. I feel like like you don't know me, I feel like. But my thing when I was coming was. When I teach no big picnic, I mean, remember when we were in high school, don't hey, remember when we were in high school, like high school. Like anything you have to say, me have a clap back. Mm -hmm. So that was just my approach in coming in. I didn't want to teach the um, junior high kids, I didn't want to teach the high school kids. I was just like, nah, I'll teach a little bit, little bit, little bit of the elementary kids. And as I said, in all of my videos, yes, I must have four children. So practicing <laughs> over here on these. <laughs> right, so. I have never changed but i have had experience teaching up to adults here but that's a total different um story cool so i taught in kindergarten elementary junior high high school i mean do all work so yeah i really but my main focus is really elementary kids or children so you have that choice to choose where what you want to teach uh, also the company will um help you in providing housing for you so they will provide housing we will look at the housing for you and um when you come whatever whatever all right so time now it's time now for you to leave jamaica and they will give you they will send you an email um about a certificate of eligibility this is what you get to take the um japanese embassy to get the japanese visa right when they as soon as you get that um coe as we call it you bring it to the japanese embassy i believe the visa is four thousand dollars five thousand dollars i don't really know but if you're in jamaica i can link the put the link in the description box and um you can get that information from there anything you're not clear about it's better to refer to the embassy because you know those things and immigration things change very rapidly okay it's good to keep up to date all right so 
they will give you a date um, to arrive. You can try your best to arrive. You can be from anywhere. Um, you can be from America, you can be from Jamaica, you can be from Spain, you can be from wherever you are. But ensure that um, you are in your home country when it's time for you, when they send the COE um, for you to get the Japanese visa. All right, so you have purchased your ticket. Um, the tickets to come to Japan, the prices vary. Um, it can be very expensive. Yeah. So it's not like a regular flight from like a Jamaica to a New York or maybe a Jamaica to Canada. It's not it's one of those cheap flights. I mind you sometimes those flights are not cheap. But um we I can probably say that tickets vary from between seventy thousand to like probably two hundred thousand. And and of course we have no control as to how ticket prices are. Um at the time that I was coming, I missed my flight. Mm -hmm. And I had to rebook a flight for two hundred thousand. So let's say in total, I spent 400000 on flights. Hmm. Anyway, yes. So even with booking your flights, you need to, you know, search, 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 search to see if you can get the best deals. And also remember the time difference. So if you're leaving from uh, New York and it says something like probably 12 a.m., you need to ensure that you're on the right day so you're not missing the flight, you know? Um, it's, 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 it's a case where you lose any day in a day. So, you know, be very careful when booking your flights. All right, cool. It's time to book your flights now. When you're from Jamaica, you book a one-way ticket to Japan. If you're stopping in New York or wherever you're in Jamaica, you book a ticket from there to there and then multi-city or whatever the case might be. Now you come to Japan and you find your way. The, com the company will um, set up a for you to stay at a hotel. Um, depending on the time that you come, you may stay at the hotel for a week, you may stay for three days or whatever the time may be. But the time that you stay at this hotel, you will be at training. So as you come to Japan, um, training automatically begins for you. Upon entering Japan, you will get a Zaidu card. Zaidu? Well, I don't know how to say it in Japanese, the one y'all can correct me, but you can get, you will get a residence card. So that is the most important thing you will need, the residence card. Your visa will no longer be important. Your residence card shows your validity of stay, what you do here, your picture, you know, and all of these things. This is something you will have to also, um, what do you call the word? Guys, that's so much information. This is something you have to renew depending on expiration date. It's just like a passport. So you can get one year, two year, three year, four year, five year. Every situation is different. So, right, so you're here in Japan now and you do training, 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 training. Training consists of how we will teach the lessons. They have some, you know, they have company policies. You will need to do a drug test as well. Um, no visible tattoos and, you know, all of that drama. Um, so after the training is finished, you, everyone will go to their separate location. Either you take a Shinkansen, which are like the super fast trains, or you will take a plane um, or something. But the company, I believe, um, is responsible for that financial aspect of it. So let's say the training is in Tokyo or your training is in Tokyo and your placement is in Fukuoka, they may either require you to take a, a flight or they may require you to take a Shinkansen, but they will provide you with that information. After the training, oh yeah, you have to wear like jackets, whatever, whatever. But um, summers in Japan tend to be hot. I'm not sure if I'm the only one who doesn't really feel the heat, but I think when I went to Jamaica in the summer, maybe I did. Yeah, did, me did. But... I guess it's hot, whatever. It's summer, what do you expect? So that's that. And then when you come, you go to your separate location. Um, when you go to your separate location, you will be assigned an IC. This is like an old Japanese person. I didn't say you're old, but a Japanese person. You guys remember you don't speak Japanese. I take it that you don't speak Japanese. And they will help you in setting up your lights in your apartment, your electricity, your water. They will help you to set up your bank information they will help you to shop around you know to familiarize yourself with the place and they will help you with everything and these persons are assigned by the company um you know to help you as you make the transition um some people form a very good bonds with their ic some people mm, but my ic video yeah nice clean girl right so 
right? You will be given an IC and, you know, as I said, they will take care of, they will do um, all the Japanese stuff that you're not able to do by yourself because, of course, you don't speak Japanese. Um, also, when you come here, you will, the IC will also have meetings. You will go with the IC to visit your school for the first time. So you will meet with the head teacher, you will meet with the principal, the vice principal, and probably another teacher, depending on who is there on that day. Most times the principal and the vice principal are there and you will meet with your teachers and they will ask you to tell um, them about yourself. And uh, yeah, that's probably just practice the like, konnichiwa. Um, like my name is and you know something I don't know if it's kind of good to know Japanese but if you just don't know you just don't know like you know what I mean yeah so um right so that's the process um it's really a smooth transition but coming for the first time and not knowing anything it can be a little you know tiresome on your brain and everything like that um the company also provides a service where you know you can get a phone from them a rental phone from them um but in my honest opinion looking back i don't think you should take the rental phone from them i mean it, it depends on your situation it could be good in terms of easy transition in terms of communicating with your family but it's a rental phone it's not your phone and why is the sun shining in like this in my opinion i think i was saying i know trying to take the phone um from them there are certain things that they will offer you um as i said if you have someone here that you know is not afraid to divulge information to you and just be unfiltered and raw about it because people want the information you know people want the information but then there are some persons who are putting up this whole facade that's you know like come on come on come on um just just be real and 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 and, and unfiltered as best as possible but at the same time i have to remind myself that people want to real and want unfiltered and are not able to accept it so i'm like guess what you're here and i'm here and you just do what you gotta do if you come to me and you ask me something i'm just gonna be raw and raw about it because it is what it is i'm not gonna put it on a show like but well and no because guess what you see when you enter the situation you're gonna be like so you never said that no you're not you're not blaming me you're not doing it come i realize i love blame people not this girl yeah so that's the whole process in teaching english in japan i'm not sure when i look at the video time i don't think this will be a two i don't think this will be a two-part video but i will have more of these videos coming in um right so that's the whole process and you after i see um takes you around you will you know basically start start school and you do your lessons and stuff like that um for me personally when i tell people like my whole um, process is really different from they can't relate to what i am saying and it's fine because my situation is not the same as your situation it's just too totally different as i said i'm not sure if i said it before um people come here it doesn't work out for them people come it works out for them people come they have a goal to achieve whether to pay them sooner whether it is to pay off their student loan to start a lucrative business whether it is for them to set a platform for another transition per persons come out of depression persons come out of curiosity persons come off just wanting a fresh air my new thing is don't knock something until you try it and then you can try it and see if it works for you or if it doesn't work for you most persons come because of the traveling aspect most persons come because you know i have no responsibilities i have no chick me and a child me and a man and some people don't want to do yeah yeah and all of those things most, most persons come and find love most persons come and find a new sexuality most persons come and just listen so i mean you will hear someone soon i'll be like no but i think it may not say i think it worth it um if you're supposed to ask me if it is worth it um i always say you know japan is a expensive country and i'm from a third world country and this is a first world country and uh, you know it's kind of hard to make the comparison but in terms of growth as a gaijin which is the name they um, 
referred to us as which are foreigners you will never be accepted into this society it doesn't matter how you look at it it doesn't matter what you see happening it doesn't matter what people tell you it doesn't even matter if you see a jamaican who is here who is the top at the top at the top you will never be accepted into their society i don't bash me about them because we got people go to america and it's the same thing because do what you gotta do until that time has come to an end so with that being said that's the process um to how you can get started in teaching english in japan as i said some people come they don't like it some persons come they start with another company they go to another company they're back with that company and i know people are just trying to find their way out and people are just trying to figure out life just like me and you so i mean i will try to bring you as much informative videos as the best of possible if there's any inf other information that you guys would want me to i see you guys if there's any other why me i rush your match i say if there's any other thing that you guys would like to know about the whole process of teaching english in japan you can let me know because as you can see i'm raw and i'm unfiltered i don't have time to mince my words um but you know to each is their own um i have been here two years as i said i'm learning i'm still learning i've made some mistakes um you know i'm still understanding just like making a transition to another new country if i'm supposed to move to um new york tomorrow i will have to i will have to understand certain things about new york i will have to find right sorry i will have to find somewhere to live i will have to find a job it's like starting all over so you know until we have it all figured out we have to stay with each other um and give information as best as possible you know i don't i don't want to see the need of being selfish in terms of certain things but you know as i said to each is their own i'm not sure why i look so lean um yeah so this is the information that i have i don't know how helpful it is and you know if you guys want to do it you can do it i'm not going to say no it's for some people it's a yes or some people say no for some people it's just the idea of something new and you know you just have to do what you have to do in this life because guess what there's no blueprint there's absolutely no blueprint um as to how to do this whole living existing thing i didn't send my mom to get a child and i didn't you know so so we're here now so you know we have to do what we have to do so thank you guys for subscribing remember to like comment share and subscribe and comment any other thing let me hear your comments in the description box below thank you guys for subscribing see you and be safe bye subbie